This video is about combining data from multiple tables in SQL. And just like in dplyr, we do this using joins. So let's write a query where we combine the data from the surveys table and the species table. We'll go ahead and start with our select statement, like always. We'll select all of the columns for now, which we do using an asterisk. We then do from the first table that we want in our join, so from surveys. And then we use the join keyword. And then we list the second table that we want to put together in our join. So this is going to join the surveys and species tables. And then we need to specify the name of the column or columns that provide the linking fields between those two tables. And so this is what we would use by for in dplyr. Here we're going to use using in SQL and then parentheses and then the name of the column or columns that we use to join these two tables. And in this case, it's the species ID column that is shared in both of those tables. And if we can do this, we can now see we've got all of the surveys table information here, and then the appropriately matched genus and species for each species ID from the species table. If the column names don't match between the two tables, uh, you can use the keyword on with a slightly different construction here uh, to still get the join to work. And join here is the same as inner join, which is the same as the inner join that we learned in dplyr. Like in dplyr, you can also perform outer joins or full joins, as well as left joins and right joins in SQL. Unlike in dplyr, you can't choose not to specify the joining field. So if we didn't specify what we were joining on, dplyr would try to guess by looking for columns that had the same name. If we do that in SQL, something bad will happen. Let's scroll over here. First, we can see we've got a lot more NLs than we did the first time. We just had two and then some other species. And we'll also see that NL in the species ID is matched up with the wrong species uh, from the species table and the wrong species, but a different species from the species table, and another wrong species, but a different species from the species table, and so on. And that's because unlike in dplyr, if we do a join without telling uh, SQL what to join on, it will combine every single row from the first table with every possible row from the second table, which is definitely not what we want. We can join multiple tables together by using multiple join statements, similar uh, to what we did in dplyr. And so if we also wanted to join in the data on plot, we would add join plots using parentheses plot ID. And now we will get all of the information, uh, including uh, the data from the species table and the new and unique data from the plot table. So that's how we combine data from multiple tables in SQL. We first write from, and then the first table we want in the join, and then join the second table using and then in parentheses, the names of the linking fields. 
If we want to join more than one table, we have multiple join clauses in a row. And these joins always fit directly after the from clause when we are ordering queries in SQL. Thanks, I recognize that there's no query there. <laughs>